the easiest way to calculate a cumulative sum is to use the sum function and then freeze the range and here I'm going to freeze the first cell here so when I drag this formula down it will freeze the first cell and then it will carry on extending each cell with the formula so when I freeze the formula here with F4 and when I drag this formula down to the next cell it includes the next cell here but the first cell stays here so it frees the first cell and then carry on with each cell to the downwards so here I have a community sum all right so here I'm going to write a very interesting formula to some quantities using dates but based on months so what I'll do I'll combine sum product and text function so first of all I'll enter the sum product and then text function and in the text function, I'm going to specify the range and then the format to get the month name. And now, along with that, I'm going to write a condition to test. So now this condition, verify each date from here and test it against the value, the month name that I have in this cell D2. So when I use this, it returns an array where I have true or false based on the condition. If condition is met, then it's true, otherwise it's false. So I don't have any date from January and that is why there is no true in this array. And now what I'll do, I'll wrap this function, the text function, and then I'm going to use double minus sign so what happens is when you use double minus sign it converts true and false into 0 and 1 so I have 0 here because I had false in the entire array for each value I had false and that is why I have 0 right now so now I'm gonna enter a second array where I'm going to use quantities and now let me freeze this range. And now when I hit enter, it returns 0 because there is no date from the January month. But when I drag this formula down to the February month, I get 149. So here I have only one date and the quantity is 149. And that is why I have some here for the February month 149. And when I comes down for the March month and drag this formula down it returns 356 and we have two dates on the March and the total is 356 and now let me drag this formula up to the last month and yes I have some for each of the month so here instead of having uh, some total for each month what I want here I want to have a running total so what I'll do I'll simply use the sum function and then I'll freeze the first cell now I'm gonna drag this formula down and here I have my running total based on months so this is an interesting and really, really powerful formula so let me explain this formula to you again so when you use text function it returns an array with the month name from the dates and then when you create a condition when you write a condition to testify each date with this month name it returns true or false and then the double minus sign convert those false and true into 0 and 1 And now in the second array, we have quantities. So when some product multiplies 0 from here with the quantity from here, it returns 0 because the condition is not met. But 
in the second month where I have February and when I check this we have one for the seventh value and that is the seventh date in the data and when one multiplies with 149 it returns 149 that's the actual date from the February and that is why we have 149 in the result and here we have the same formula same sum function to get the running total